Hi, this is Michael Ratney, the U.S. Ambassador to Saudi Arabia. Let me start by saying thank you to KAUST and the whole KGSP team for all your efforts to strengthen the bonds between our two countries. The work you've done over the past 16 years has not only helped unlock the potential of hundreds of inspiring Saudi researchers, entrepreneurs, and change makers, like trailblazing KGSP alumna Dr. Yasmin Nejem, but it's also bolstered the mutual understanding and mutual respect that are the foundations of the peace and prosperity our world so badly needs. That work was championed by Dr. Najah Ashri, Allah Yarhama. I know you're all familiar with Dr. Najah's legacy, but I'd be remiss if I didn't join you in honoring her commitment to the development of this country and its people. Her dedication should serve to inspire you as you consider the future you want for yourselves, for your communities, your country, and for our shared world. I never had the pleasure of meeting Dr. Najah in person, but I think she would agree that KGSP's success is simply a product of your success. So congratulations, you are about to embark on a life-changing journey. The next four years will be transformative, and frankly, part of me would love nothing more than to trade places with you. Over the coming months and years, you'll have the opportunity to learn, explore, and question the world around you. Thinking will be your full-time job. And never forget that this opportunity is an investment that your country, your families, and your communities are making in you. So this opportunity also comes with responsibility. Each of you will be the face of Saudi Arabia to everyone you meet, countless numbers of American friends and neighbors and colleagues. It's a tremendous opportunity, and my own country will be better for it. And this is not an overstatement. When you return to Saudi Arabia, the ideas, the ingenuity, and the friendships you gain during your time in the United States will shape the future of your country and the future of this whole region. In the year that I've been in Saudi Arabia, not a day has gone by that I have not met some remarkable people in a stunning variety of fields, from filmmaking to video game development, to space research, to renewable energy. I love being a part of the ever closer connections between our two countries in all these new endeavors at this remarkable moment in history. In business, culture, media, education, energy, finance, and even in orbit around our planet, there are Americans and Saudis working and partnering together in new ways, benefiting both our countries, building long-lasting friendships. Today, you are becoming a part of that historic relationship. Now, I grew up near Boston, and I went to college at Boston University, where I think some of you will be going. Whenever I visit, it always feels like home. So for those of you heading to Boston, I hope you feel as much at home there as I do. And wherever you're going, whether it's Boston or Philly or Irvine or Raleigh or the Twin Cities, you are about to create a new home. And that place, which right now you may be having a little trouble visualizing, will leave an unforgettable imprint on your life. You will carry that part of the United States with you forever. You'll be better for it. And as I said a moment ago, America will be better for it too. You're all stepping into a world filled with endless opportunities, and let's face it, a lot of challenges too. My advice is this. Every now and then, put down your phones. Turn off your computers and engage. Engage with your fellow students, with your faculty, with your neighbors. Engage with complete strangers. Share your traditions. Tell them about your country, your language, your faith, your families, your hopes, and your ambitions. Embrace every opportunity to share and to learn and to listen. So to all of you, let me end with this. I hope you love my country. I hope you meet some great people. I hope you accomplish amazing things. I hope you all get ready to change the world. And I hope that one day soon, we can all meet for coffee and you can tell me all about it.